morning, Cardinals. Happy Tuesday to everyone. Hope and pray you had a blessed evening. So we can prepare our hearts for today's reading. Today we hear about St. Paul. Paul was originally named Saul. And originally St. Uh, Saul participated in imprisoning many of the early Christians in Jerusalem for their beliefs. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. That day a severe persecution began against the church in Jerusalem, and all except the apostles were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria. Devout men buried Stephen and made loud lamentation over him. But Saul was ravaging the church by entering house after house, dragging off both men and women. <clears throat> he committed them to prison. Now those who were scattered went from place to place, proclaiming the word. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Messiah to them. The crowds with one accord listened eagerly to what was said by Philip, hearing and seeing the signs that he did. For unclean spirits crying with loud shrieks came out of many who were possessed, and many others who were paralyzed or lame were cured. So there was great joy in that city. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <clears throat> so Cardinals, today our reading is after Jesus ascended into heaven, left his spirit for the apostles, the disciples, and they are out proclaiming the good news, right? And Jesus let it be known that with his Holy Spirit, that they would be able, the disciples, to do greater things than him. And brothers and sisters, what I'm reminded of is the fact that we need to understand that Jesus is very much alive and moving throughout the, the face of the earth. And the Spirit is as well. And it is you and I that are called as disciples of Christ to continue to do the work in the name of Christ, right? Not for our own sake, but for the sake of Christ, for the sake of the kingdom, for the sake of God. And whenever, you know, a year ago, when we had the opportunity to not have masks on, you guys can recall that I used to say, show me your Christ, right? And everybody would put on their smile. But brothers and sisters, one of the things that's very obvious is that I was, I'm able to see Christ in all. And putting on a smile is doing Christ's work. And even though we have our masks on, we can still continue to do Christ's work. And how do we do that, brothers and sisters? Just like the apostles, we extend peace, we extend joy, we extend kindness, we extend mercy, we extend all the things of God and Christ and give it to God's people. That's how Christ is at work. That's how Christ continues to move um, here on earth is through us. So let us Cardinals choose today. Take a moment to commit ourselves back to Christ and to commit ourselves to proclaiming the gospel. And one of my favorite things is, you know, one of our popes, I can't remember if it was Benedict or if it's our current Pope Francis that says, preach the gospel at all times and when necessary, use words. What does that mean, Cardinals? That our actions should speak louder than our actual words, but nonetheless, how we treat others and how we talk to others and how we serve others is a reflection of how we promote the gospel, how we spread love, and how we continue to allow Christ to move through you and I to be able to touch people's lives. So I pray that we commit ourselves today, Cardinals, each and every single day today to ask the question, are we going to be a blessing? And yes, right? The hope is, is how much of a blessing are we going to be to our brothers and sisters in Christ? And the hope is, is that we make every effort to bless every person we come in contact with through respect and through mercy and through dignity, and through all the good things that God calls us to be. So thank you, Cardinals, for stepping up to become those disciples of Christ. Thank you for putting on your Christ, and thank you for promoting the gospel. God bless and thank you. A good Catholic student prays daily, knows and understands our faith, demonstrates a spirit of service. A lifelong learner thinks critically, develops skills and knowledge, and participates in the arts. A person of good moral character 
accepts accountability for their actions, respects school, peers, and adults, and acts as a good steward of the earth. If you could please take a moment now to stand and face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. God bless America and God bless our world. Hope and pray you have a blessed day. God bless. <laughs>